hello students in this video we will learn about binary system now in the last video I have taught you about base so let's do a quick revisit so base is the number of digits that we can count for example if uh, a number has base 7 suppose there is a number 132 base 7 then it will mean that we can only use 7 digits and those digits are 0 1 2 like that 7 digits if the base is 10 then the digits we can use are this much so when we use numbers normally like this any number if we don't write any base below then you must know that these numbers have base 10 if we write base in this case the base is written 7 so here we can only use 7 digits <clears throat> I will give you one more example consider another number 27 okay 27 now this number has base 10 because I didn't write anything so this number has base 10 but this number cannot have a base of 6 because in 6 base number only this numbers these digits are allowed mane jodi base 6 hoy tetehale ami 6 ta digit use kore paru jodi base 7 hoy ami 7 ta digit use kore paru jodi base 10 hoy tetehale ami himan ta digit use korbo paru now to convert any number any decimal number the question is convert 124 into a number whose base is 7 a number to kami at a 7 base or number le convert ko lage now since this number doesn't have any base written so we must know that this number has base 10 now we have to convert it to a base of 7 so convert number to divide since the question says to convert it to base 7 so we will divide it by 7 by 124 so we have to divide it by 7 and by dividing 7 we will get 7 into 17 the remainder is 5 then again if we divide 17 by 7 then we get 7 into 2 equal to 14 the remainder is 3 then <coughs> now the trick the rule to write the new 7 base number is 124 equals to we will write from here to here only the remainders 2 3 5 base 7 so this is the new number of base 7 okay now similarly if the question is convert um, this number which has base 10 to a 8 base number convert this number into a number of base 8 the question to the base 8 only convert so we have to divide this number by 8 okay if the question was convert this number to a number of base 6 then we have to divide this number with 6 now here if we divide with 8 we will get 36 times and the remainder is 4 36 times the remainder is 4 then again if we divide 8 36 by 8 we will get 8 into 4 equal to 32 then remains 4 now the rule is write it like this 
in this direction so the new number is 292 equal to 448 base 8 okay so this is the way now if the opposite case convert this number convert this number into a decimal number convert this number into decimal question and again yes convert this number into decimal system so we will have to write triple four eight is equal to four into plus four into plus four now <coughs> what will be in between now see this number has three digits one two three in the first digit the power of eight we will use is zero eight power zero in second digit we will use eight power one in third digit we will use eight power two now if we calculate then we will get 292 now suppose if this question had this much digits now the question is convert this into a decimal number so we will have to write it as 2 plus 9 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 now see in here the power of 8 will be 0 in here the power of 8 will be 1 2 3 4 then if we calculate we will get the decimal number okay so this is how we convert numbers from other bases to bind uh, decimal system like this now let's come to binary system binary system now binary system is a system where the base is 2 base is 2 so since base is 2 that means we can only use two digits only two z two digits and the do the digits are digits are 0 and 1 see here the base was 7 so the digits were starting from 0 to 6 so here in binary system the digits are only 0 and 1 because we can use only two digits now there is a table given decimal numbers and binary numbers 0 is denoted by 0 1 is denoted by 1 like this now you don't need to remember this table you can calculate which decimal number is written as what in binary system how suppose I give you a number 7 this number is in base 10 now if I want to write it in decimal system uh, sorry in binary system what we will have to do we will have to divide 7 by 2 so let's divide 7 divided by 2 now 2 into 3 equal to 6 the remainder is 1 then again we divide 3 2 into 1 equals to 2 the remainder is 1 so the way was write it like this so 7 equals to triple 1 base 2 now let's see if it is correct or not see triple 1 again if we want to divide 9 if we want to convert 9 into a binary number then let's see 2 into 4 the remainder is 1 then 2 into 2 
remainder is 0 then again if we divide 2 2 into 1 the remainder is 0 now the way was to write it like this so 9 equals to 1001 see 1001 now 0 is 0 because we cannot divide 0 so we will write 0 as 0 now 1 is written as 1 how <coughs> if we divide 1 we cannot divide 1 no just 1 is here so we will write just the 1 okay then if we divide if we convert decimal 2 into binary number then see we can get 1 2 in 2 into 1 equal to 2 the remainder is 0 so we write it like this so 2 base 10 equals to 1 0 in binary okay so this is how we get the binary numbers so we have learned how to convert decimal numbers decimal money the numbers that have base 10 okay so we have learned how to convert decimal numbers into binary numbers now let's learn the reverse opposite one how to convert binary numbers into decimal numbers let's get one example triple one zero one base two the question is convert this number into decimal number so like the previous examples we did in case of other bases we will write the numbers first okay now here the base will be 2 power 0 here into 2 power 1 here 3 then 4 then 5 okay 0 1 sorry uh, 0 1 2 3 Four. we have to start from 0 from right to left 0 1 2 3 4 so if we calculate this we will get 16 plus 8 plus 4 this will be 0 and this will be 1 since anything power 0 is equals to 1 so the answer is 29 so this number is converted to decimal as 29 okay so this is how we convert the number systems then le next learn let's learn addition in binary numbers or addition of binary numbers there are some rules of addition in binary system the rules are 0 plus 0 equals to 0 0 plus 1 equals to 1 then 1 plus 0 equals to 1 and 1 plus 1 equals to 0 but 1 will be carried 1 will be carried so these are the rules of addition in binary system 0 plus 0 equal to 0 0 plus 1 equal to 1 1 plus 0 equal to 1 and 1 plus 1 equal to 0 and 1 will be carry let's do one example then you will understand it better so let's add this one 1010 0, 1, 0. then one 1 0 1 okay now if we add this let's go through the rules first 0 plus 1 equals to 1 1 plus 0 equals to 1 1 0 plus 1 equals to again 1 then 1 plus 1 equals to 0 but 1 is carried so this this is the answer then another example 1001 1011 1, 1, 1. now here see 1 plus 1 is 
zero but there is one carry so there is one carry so now this one plus one equals to again zero one will be carried here then one plus zero there is nothing here only zero so one plus zero will be one again one plus one here will be zero and the carry one we will put it here another example let's do the third example Before. now let's add this number this one will be a little complex because there are three numbers we are adding three numbers now let's see one plus one equals to zero there is one carry one carry will be here then zero plus one equals to one okay then this one plus one equals to zero carry one here then zero plus one equals to one then again one plus one equals to zero carry one here then one plus one equals to zero carry one here then one plus one equals to zero carry one then zero plus one equals to one the carry one will be put here so the answer is this double one double zero double one the numbers in decimal system are 15 17 and 19 and if you calculate them add them then you will get 51 you can try this personally so watch this video repeatedly if you have any confusion in there because this is a new uh, new concept for you so watch the video very carefully and if you have any confusion watch it again then again then after that if you have any more confusion then you can talk to me in whatsapp